Let's create a Visual Studio Tools for Office solution and then deploy it using Click Once. And I'm running Visual Studio as administrator because I'm going to publish to my Internet Information Server. So the first thing we'll do is create a new project. And this is going to be a Word template project called Click Once Demo. And the solution name is Click Once Demo. We're going to create a new document. We're going to create a new template. And Visual Studio creates the project and displays Word. I'm going to write some code here. And I'm going to add some code to the startup event. So every time somebody creates a document based on this template, I want the following code to run. This dot content, which represents the main document story. Insert after, and then I'm going to insert the following. System dot date time dot today dot day of week dot to string. So I just want to display the day of the week. Very, very simple. Let's run this and make sure it works. Visual Studio starts the application, which is Word, and creates a new document based on that template and inserts the day of the week. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted, and I'm now ready to deploy this to my users. So to deploy a Click Once application, I can right click on the project and choose Publish and this will call up the publish wizard. I can publish to a website or file path. I'm going to publish to my local IIS server. And I want the users to install this from the website. And then if I click finish, it'll publish. But before I do this, I want to anticipate a little bit. So I'm going to cancel out of here, go into the project designer go into the Publish tab, and click Updates. And the reason I want to do that is to show you that by default, Visual Studio Tools for Office customizations will check for updates every seven days. Now the reason for this is because you might have a number of customizations that run when you open the document or when you open Word. So if I double click on this template, that starts this customization. Let's say I have four application level add-ins also installed for Word. That's five customizations worth of Visual Studio Tools for Office code that are going to run every time I start Word. If all of them checked for updates every time they ran, that could add some noticeable startup time to Word. So the default is that we check every seven days. I'm going to set that to check every time the customization runs. So I could go back to here and right click and choose the publish wizard. Or I can publish now. And let's do that. So I published this to the IIS server. Let's go confirm that. I'm going to navigate to INET pub, www root, click once demo, and here are the files that got added here. Let's resize this a little bit so we get some screen real estate. Setup.exe is the setup program, and it includes the bootstrapper to install any prerequisites. Here's the document template. This, although the Windows Explorer claims it's an application manifest, is really a deployment manifest. And the Visual Studio Tools for Office runtime is going to read this to see a, what application should be installed, and then secondly, are there any updates? So this is the current version of the deployment manifest, and this is the 1.0.0.0 version of the manifest. And at the moment, of course, they're the same. So now I want to deploy this application. All I need to do is take the template document, I'll just copy it to the desktop, and double click on it. Notice that the Office Customization Installer comes up, knows that there's a customization to install, 
and then there's an error. And the reason there's an error is because I published this to Internet Information Server. And the customization installer wants to download and run the VSTO file, but IIS does not know what a VSTO file is. So I need to come into the IIS manager, double click on MIME types, and then add a MIME type for file names with the extension of .vsto. And I'll enter application octet dash stream here and say OK. And now when I double click on the document template, the Office Customization Installer comes up and wants to install the application. The publisher cannot be verified. Do I want to install this? Well, I'm the publisher and I trust myself, so I will install this and the customization runs. So that was pretty straightforward. All I had to do was open the document template and the customization gets installed for me. And now, of course, every time I open this, the customization will run. Well, what about updates? One of the benefits of ClickOnce is that you can easily install not only the applications, but also updates to the applications. All right, let's go in and make a change. Instead of just displaying the date, I'm going to display today is and then the date. All right, let's save this and republish. And this is a fairly minor change, but worthy of an increase in the version number to 1.1. Let's publish. And now, the next time we open the document, the customization installer notices that there's an update, automatically downloads it, and installs it. And you'll notice that I was not prompted if I want to install updates. Because at install time, I said I trusted the publisher. And if I trust the publisher to install time, that's good enough. So when updates are published, the user will automatically get them downloaded when they open the document. One thing I should mention is that remember, the first time we published this, we changed the update behavior from check at interval seven days to check every time the customization runs. So if you had originally published this by choosing publish from here and going through the publish wizard, then the application would be installed to only check every seven days. You could then come in and change this to every time the customization runs, but in order for that to take effect, you'd actually have to come into the control panel, programs and features, and uninstall the application and then reinstall it, which you can do just by double-clicking on the Visto file. So what you've seen in this demo is how easy it is to deploy a Visual Studio Tools for Office solution based on Office 2007 using ClickOnce. And it's also easy to publish updates and have those automatically installed when the user opens the document.